G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. This little video is going to be a quick look at using our website. Now we did put out a question on the uh, community section of YouTube recently asking people whether they thought the website was easy enough to navigate. Most people found it was okay uh, but some uh, said they'd probably like to have a bit of a tutorial uh, about the website and uh, Maybe that'll help unlock some of the features that possibly aren't that obvious. Okay, so the example I'm going to use, again, is the Albany page. Now, the reason I'm using the Albany page as the example, because that's the page that we're going to put all the new things that may or may not get adopted across the website on. It's sort of like my test page. So, as you can see here, Albany, we're just doing a search. Remembering, of course, that if you want to find our pages, just add WA now and then to the end of the search. Because if you don't do that, Google won't show you our pages. Google don't like us because we don't follow their rules. So if you want to find our stuff, you need to add that. And uh, then you'll find us at the top of the search instead of hidden away uh, or not in the search results at all. So, we'll start off by having a look at the Albany page. And we'll just go through each section bit by bit. Okay, so if you want to go back to the home page of the main website, you can click on that. I'll show you that later on. There is a subscription uh, button here. I do mm, semi-annually <laughs> put out a newsletter. It used to be monthly. Uh, I got very tired of doing that. And... Uh, it's now whenever I feel like doing it, which is maybe once or twice a year, or maybe once every two years. Now, if you love the website, and I hope you do, you might feel like uh, chucking in a couple of bob to help us out. So if you want to do that, you can do that, and that's via PayPal. And if you want to contact us about something, want to make a comment on a page, or just ask a question, you can email us via that button. You can do a search on the website here, just type in whatever you like, hit the search button and that will find any information that we've got available on the site uh, regarding the search. Okay, so the go back button is only ever used on our website if you've come from another page on our website. So if you've gone to the home page and then you've come here, then you can click go back and it'll take you back to the home page or an index page or wherever you happen to be before. That will have no effect if you click on it if you're coming from the Google search because you'll just hop out of our website and uh, you won't see anything else of this page. Find a computation. Uh, we don't have the time or the resources to keep up to date with all the accommodation options available. So basically this page just gives you a small amount of information about booking websites and what you can do, but not really a lot of information. We used to try and have lots more information on that, but it just takes up too much time. So we, we pretty much abandoned doing that. Now you're in Albany at the moment, so let's look at that as being the center of this. Uh, so if you go west, you'll get to Denmark. If you go north, you'll get to Narakup. If you go northeast, you'll get to Wellstead, and if you go east or southeast, you'll get to Chains Beach. So if you click on any one of those, it'll take you to that particular page. Now in this case, I've come from Albany, so I could either click back to Albany down here, or I could just click the Go Back button, and that takes me back to the Albany page. Now, the layout for this, this is typical of our town pages. We do have uh, attraction pages and place pages that look a bit different to our town pages. I think all our town pages now are in this format, where you've got a picture here, you've got some information on it, some GPS info. The last time the page was updated, so it just lets you know how recent the information on the page is. Uh, we've got some links to our other information down here. Uh, to our YouTube site, our Facebook. We're really not using Facebook anymore. I've given up on it. It's just become too much of a pain to navigate. Uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and of course to our Patreon account. If you want to become a Patreon member, you'll get all sorts of little uh, benefits, extra videos, extra photos, background information on us, free books, all sorts of stuff in there. 
Uh, we get the ubiquitous Google ad. If you click on the ads, if you find anything interesting, you'll stick a couple of cents in our pocket, maybe. <laughs> uh, we then have forecasts down here. That's from a third-party website. Uh, we just display the information here because it's useful to uh, know what the weather in Albany is like if you happen to be going there in the next few days. And the main page here will have a little series of tabs at the top. The first one being description. So that'll give you general rundown about the place you're looking at. If you're interested in the history of the place, you can click on the history tab and lots and lots of information about history. Tall Tales and True. Now, if we've got any folklore associated with the location you're looking at, then you'll get that listed under the Tall Tales and True tab. We have a map, and uh, that will give you just general information from Google, and uh, you all probably know how to use the Google Maps by now. You can expand that and go in and have a look in detail at the map. So it's all done through the Google mapping system. If we've got videos we've made of the area, you click on the video button and uh, you'll see all the videos we've made of that location. Of course, Albany we've been to many, many times and there's a lot to see there. So there's quite a few videos of that area to have a look at. You can view them all in here or you can go to our YouTube channel and view them. A lot easier to find here because this is all sorted on location so all the videos that appear under Albany are going to be about Albany and the areas around it so a lot easier to find than going to the YouTube channel itself we've got other information which will give you things like attractions now you'll see a lot of these are links now in the case of attractions generally it's just a picture that'll pop up and just give you an idea of what the place is like. Uh, other places, other links that you may encounter will take you to another page that's got information about that area. In this case, it's the old quarantine camp at Coronup. So links can do different things, and there's no way to tell before you click them what's going to happen, whether you just get a picture like that, or whether you go to another page, uh, such as this one here. Uh, there are other uh, links as well, and we'll go back to the description for that. There's a sort of semi-link. And what this is, you can see that's a little bit sort of dotted under the name Henry Lawson. And all you've got to do is hover over that, and that will pop up a bit more information uh, about that person or about the subject whatever it happens to be. I don't use this a lot, but it is around on the website in some places, so you may encounter that, and that's what happens when you just rest your cursor on that name. You'll get a bit more information. Now, apart from just clicking the top ones here, uh, we've got uh, photos at the end. I didn't have a look at that. Okay, and uh, Albany's got lots and lots and lots of photos, so you can... Uh, work your way through those if you like or you can just pick random ones now these are just thumbnails and some of them will be out of shape because some are portraits some are landscape but when you click on them that's when you'll get to see the full picture and if they're ones that are out of shape because they are portrait being forced into landscape then they'll come out the correct size of course so uh, they will usually have some sort of a title at the bottom to give you an idea of what the area is and what the photo is about. So that's pretty straightforward stuff. Now, instead of clicking the tabs at the top, if you get down to the bottom, you don't have to go back to the top, but you can flick your way through these one by one as well. So last and next, we'll just push you through those pages one by one. And you'll see some information. There's not so much information on it there, so it jumps up. And you'll just have to scroll up to the top again to have a look at what's there. On the side, we've got some basic statistics about the area you're looking at, how far it is from Perth, uh, what the population was at the uh, 
last census, or at least what the uh, figures published were the last time I looked. <laughs> it might not be 100% up to date, but it gives you an idea of the size of the place. Then we've got some weather information, average rainfall, and that sort of information here. You can actually go into these. There are links here to the different sites where this information is stored. So you can go over to the Bureau of Meteorology if you like. Or you can go over to the census data. So there are external links to this website. You then got things like services within the town, important staff, police, SES, the state emergency service, uh, local medical. Now that might be as simple as a nursing post or it could be a hospital. Uh, we don't differentiate. We don't tell you here what it is. It's just local medical access. And then you have access to uh, things like visitor centres if you want to get in touch with them. Now, a lot of towns are closing visitor centres down, which is very, very irritating. And it's a stupid thing to do. But a lot of these are going to become redundant over the next few years, I suspect. Below that, we have uh, whatever caravan parks we can find with their phone numbers. This is not going to be kept 100% up to date because, again, I just don't have the time to chase it up all the time. I would be doing all sorts of hours working on that <laughs> um, but okay I can see there's something wrong down there I'm going to have to go and fix that that's a bug in the program somewhere uh, that should all be in white so uh, ignore that for the moment I will go and fix that up something wrong with the uh, way that's formatted under caravan parks and some of the caravan parks you'll find do have actually links to for more information on that caravan park we've done our own reviews on some of them uh, most of these are going to be fairly out of date by now but it'll give you just a rough idea then you get to hotels and motels generally with hotels and motels there may be other information we've got some tra travel blog information there and uh, give you more information on that particular one we've been there ourselves so we've got something to say about it and then we've got things like calendar of events and what that is is a page that is supposed to link to the local government site now unfortunately what happens here is the local government websites often change their pages without telling anybody and you'll click on these and get a 404 error or a 403 error or something uh, where they can't find the information on the council website. OK, Albany is actually working, which is good. But you may click on some where you'll get an error because they've moved the page and they haven't told anybody about it. But in that case, yes, it's got the what's on page for Albany. It took a while to load though. OK, now... Let's get back to Albany. Now, in the case of Albany, we've got a link to another website. This is not our site. It's a site called mingoa.net. And uh, there are huge numbers of really interesting photos from all over the southern part of the state, the southwest mostly. Uh, a lot of effort being put into that website by Gordon. I suggest if you're interested in local information, this gives you information on specific buildings in different places. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, get over there and have a look at his website. Brilliant stuff. We love it. We regard it as a sister site to ours because it's got all this information available. We don't go into the level of looking at different buildings. We've got pictures of a lot of buildings, but I don't really do write-ups on them specifically. Whereas Gordon goes into quite a bit of detail and has done a lot of work on this. And with his photos, like ours, you can just click on them to get a bigger picture. Brilliant site. We love it. So uh, while you're on our pages and you see this, and it will be the same on each of our pages where we've put a link to one of his pages, you just click on that and that'll take you to his website. Next thing in Albany, we've got some information on local campsites. Now we don't have this for all pages. Uh, in fact, Albany's probably the only one, well, there's probably only another one page that's got this, but in any case, if this has got information on the campsites that are around if we've got any videos on them you'll find videos there basic information a picture and again a video if we've got one available 
So this is just for the Albany area. Quite a few listed in there, as you can see. Albany is a great place to go camping. Now, you'll note in this case I'm being lazy. I'm not going back up to the top of the uh, screen. I just want to go back to the last page. And to do that, you can click the back arrow. That just takes me back to where I was. Now, Albany is the only page that's got this section. It was something I was going to roll out across the website, but it's a lot of work and I haven't got around to it yet. Whether I will or not, I really don't know. But it shows you other pages on our website that are related to Albany. So if you see anything there you like, let's just wait and see if anything comes up that uh, may be of interest. We've got some reviews of caravan parks going past there. And Peronga Up National Park. Sterling Range. Okay, if I want to see Sterling Range, then I click on that. And it takes you straight to that page on our website. And again, I can go straight back to Albany from there. At the bottom of the page, some of our pages where we've got enough information, we will have a timeline. The timeline just is a brief rundown of the history of the area. So, uh, just really basic stuff. Most of that's contained in this page anyway, in the history section. You'll find all that in there. You'll see links to people's names. And unlike the one I showed you just now with Henry Lawson, that's got a sort of a dotted line, these are solid lines, so that means it's a link, a proper link. And that will take you, in this case, to Matthew Flinder's biography page. And if you want to read a bit about him, we've got information sitting there. And when you're finished, you just close that page. When you close that page, it drops you back to the Albany page that you were looking at. Now, some people don't have biography pages. Let's see if I can find one. Yes, uh, Derville down here. He doesn't have a biography page. You won't know that because the, you can't tell the difference between one with a biography page and one without. But when you click on it, you'll just get an image of that person pop up and you get an idea of what they look like. Some people will be interested in that. Some won't, I guess. So uh, all sorts of information. Again, we've got another pop-up that's a different sort of pop-up. You can see this one is uh, what they call, I think, superscript. Uh, it's a, a little reference about something. So I'm talking about something here. If you click on that, that will give you a little bit of more information about what I'm talking about. And you just click OK to close that. Now, I think that's pretty well it for everything you need to know about town pages so that's it for now uh, i may come back later with uh, another quick tutorial on another page and hopefully we'll see you either on wednesday or on saturday for the release of one of our normal videos that's it guys cheers catch you later